Hey, Jonathan here. Trixie's back there. We're coming to you from our backyard in the city of trees, Boise, Idaho. I'd like to spend the next minute or so talking with you about gardening. We moved into our home here. Our backyard was patchy, weedy, dusty. It was a real mess. Now, thanks to my limited influence, it has filled in. Most of the dirt has been replaced by either weeds or weed-like things. Now, I can only take partial credit for this improvement because I'm clearly not a skilled gardener. When we were presented with an undeveloped yard two years ago, it was difficult for my partner and me to know where to begin. Never mind that we had just moved across the country, started new jobs, had a baby on the way, and I had a PhD to finish. We wanted an attractive, usable yard, but our budget was limited and gardening was not a priority. We've had a couple things going for us, however. Boise is located in a naturally fertile river valley, and anything was going to be an improvement over what was. With some educated hunches about what could grow here, we raided late season sales bins for rosemary, lavender, mint, peppers, tomatoes, some mystery vegetables, and so on, because, hey, at least these plants could provide cooking resources once they matured. Some plants never materialized, though. Some, like this creeping behemoth of a mint plant behind me, thrived. Here and there, a rogue onion or eucalyptus joined the party. In some ways, the flora of our backyard is growing and evolving in spite of our efforts. In others, our approach was necessary for determining what we could sustainably grow, given our other commitments in life. So, what do my misadventures in natural yard maintenance have to do with securing and cultivating active, long-lasting partnerships around OER? when our allies' commitments vary in unexpected ways? Well, I propose we figure it out together next month at OTNSI. Oh, and please bring gardening tips if you have them, because I need them.